Today I'm in Tokyo, Japan on a 12 hour layover. It's my first time in Japan and I'm gonna try to speed run the city with my 35 millimeter Kanaka. Arigato! Okay, so before we get started, you should know that experiencing Tokyo on a 12 hour layover is not only doable, but also a ton of fun. I started my journey from Bangkok's BKK airport and brought along my trusty 35 millimeter Kanaka C35 EF. I also withdrew around 15,000 Japanese yen for transportation and food, and I still had a few thousand left at the end of the trip. Layover tip number one is to take a red eye flight or a flight that goes through the night so that you'll arrive in the morning in Tokyo. My Japan Airlines flight left late and I got a few hours of shut-eye. We got in right around 5.45 a.m. and it was just about perfect. Once you land, you go through immigration and probably want to change. That process took me about 25 minutes total. I chose Fujifilm Velvia 100 for the shoot because I've never shot it before and because I was told to use it for a special occasion. Today felt super special and I was pumped to finally have a reason to shoot it. First up on my Tokyo itinerary is to take a train to Asakusa. This area has the vibe of an older Tokyo and is the location of a super iconic Buddhist temple. I recommend the train instead of a taxi so that you can experience local transportation and fashion. The train is a really great place to people watch. Once I got to my stop, I snapped my first photo of this man reading. You can see a light leak at the top of the image and I think it has a cool vintage aesthetic to it. You'll want to walk towards Sensoji Temple. On your walk, there's some great modern cityscapes to photograph. Once you arrive at Sensoji, there's a ton to check out. I spent a few minutes at the entrance enjoying the quietness of the Tokyo morning. As you enter, you walk down a path and run into some iconic buildings. Lots to photograph here. You'll want to enter the main temple and you should donate a few yen on your way in. You should also get a fortune. It costs 100 yen. Mine said something about my wish not coming true. Perfect. At this point, you'll probably be hungry, so make a push for breakfast at this awesome little cafe called February. The food is tasty, coffee is delicious, and the staff is really friendly. I ordered a drip coffee and toast with avocado for around 1,500 yen. This smile says it all. After breakfast, you're gonna wanna walk to Tawa Ramachi Metro Line to get to Ueno Hiro. Once you arrive, start walking to the beautiful Shino Bazu Pond. As you walk, you can explore some of Tokyo's unique urban landscapes. Arriving at Shino Bazu Pond is like something out of a movie. It's a tranquil pond within a spacious park known for its lotus plants, boats, and birds. The cityscape that surrounds it is honestly breathtaking. I took around 30 minutes enjoying all the flowers, people, and wildlife. You'll want to head towards Nezu Shrine, and I suggest walking along the edge of the water to catch all of the beauty. While in transit to Nezu Shrine, I stopped at one of the many 7-Elevens. You definitely should try this. I chose the famous Japanese sports drink called Pakari Sweat and some crazy Japanese orange sickle candy. Both were A-tier selections. Would recommend. So good. As you start approaching Nezu Shrine, you'll walk down a narrow street where there's lots of photo opportunities. Nezu Shrine is a quiet place known for its tunnel-like series of Tori gates. When you enter Nezu, it feels like you're in another world. It's very peaceful here and I enjoyed finding interesting compositions. I love how the color red pops in this Velvia film. After about 30 minutes of exploring Nezu Shrine, you'll want to start walking towards lunch. Out of all the restaurants in Tokyo, I chose a ramen house called Ramen Hidamari. It's about a 15 minute walk and it opens at 11.30. I arrived just before and there was a small line forming. I ordered oolong tea, their signature ramen bowl, and dumplings. The ramen has a distinct delicious taste and the meat is really tender and flavorful. Check out this underexposed selfie. After lunch, take a short walk to Yanaka Ginza. It's a traditional shopping street with around 60 stores and restaurants. After a bit of shopping, you'll want to walk to the train station for a 30-minute ride towards Shibuya. 
Hopefully you'll still have some energy because this place is nuts. It's one of the busiest railway stations in the world. Shibuya is a major commercial and financial district in Tokyo and there's a lot to process. You'll want to walk the Shibuya Scramble Crossing, an amazingly busy crosswalk that is absolutely buzzing with energy. My mind was racing so much that I didn't take the time to focus my photo. For a different view, head into the Starbucks for a quick coffee. At this point, you'll only have enough time for about one more stop. So for me, I chose Tower Records Tokyo. I used to work at a small record store and this place is as iconic as record stores get. If you're a music lover, I highly suggest visiting. I arrived around 2 p.m. and made my way up. Tower is massive and they sell CDs, vinyl, cassettes, you name it. There's a few floors to explore and it has something for everybody. With time running out, it was time to start heading back to Haneda Airport. You'll want to make sure you get to the station about three or four hours before your flight because Haneda Airport can get quite busy. I made my way back to the subway to catch my final shot with my Kanaka. Overall, I was really pleased with the shots from this roll of Velvia film. It's a professional grade color reversal film that I found to be vivid and a great match for Tokyo. Just make sure you nail the exposure and I think you'll love this film. As I made my way back to the airport, I felt exhausted but satisfied. While you can see a lot of Tokyo on a 12 hour layover, there's a bunch more to discover and I feel more compelled than ever to come back for a longer trip. Japan's culture is gorgeous and I highly recommend visiting if you get the chance. If you'd like more speedrun details, I've dropped them down in the description. Also, one last tip, Google Maps will be your biggest ally for this trip, so make sure you get a roaming package before arriving. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments. Your support has been incredible and I'm thankful for all of you. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one. Sayonara. Thank you.